Well, the next move in the mahogany saga belongs to the city of Cincinnati, even if it's a no move. Right. The attorney for the closed Soul Food restaurant has now proposed a settlement. He wants an answer by this coming Thursday. WLW2 News host John London is live at the Banks for us tonight with the possible options. John. Yeah, one option, Cherie, is to forgive debt and uh, help Liz Rogers relocate from here at the Banks. Another option is to do nothing. Might have to engage if he sues the city over mahogany. You know, hundreds of thousands of dollars is not out of line for a major lawsuit. You heard him right. Liz Rogers' attorney calculating what the city's cost of legal battle could be. Its best chance of getting a return on the investment is for Liz to open a restaurant in a viable location because that way the city starts getting back payroll taxes. City staff came here this morning to check on inventory. The city provided a loan of 300000 to outfit the place. City leaders are faced with the unappetizing prospect of having to eat that investment, including the $684,000 grant to establish the space. In a letter to the city, Mahogany's proposes all parties waive liability. The city forgives all debt. It receives 12 grand over three years for the furnishings. Critics of Mahogany say forget it. Too much public money's already been wasted. Defenders insist she was essentially set up to fail. She was promised a theater would be there. She was promised an office building would be there. It looks like one is coming next year for the mere price of $51 million. That's a not so subtle reference to the tax break General Electric is getting to locate its U.S. global headquarters at the banks, about two blocks from Mahogany's. The city administration is quietly assessing the situation. It says things like we're working with Liz and the landlord without specifying what that actually involves. Given the high degree of potential litigation, they seem to be walking on eggshells about it. This loan has been treated differently than the other. $13 million worth of loans and grants the city has passed out. And that was John London reporting for us tonight. As part of this proposal, too, Liz Rogers would continue to use the mahogany space as storage at least until mid-October.